It's a, uh, it's a nice one. I want to see. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God! Yeah, baby! Oh. What's up, guys? It's Brian here, P and W Daily, and we are at Semiamu Bay. Well, Drayton Harbor, but Semiamu, that that island there behind me, peninsula. I don't know what it is, but anyway, it's a community. Very nice. There are fish jumping everywhere on this west side. It is about eight feet, eight feet, nine feet deep over here. Um, not very deep at all. Um, and uh, Walter from the shop is over there. So let's go see if we can troll his way. See how he's doing over there. I haven't talked to him. If you look over there, off in the distance, that is Canada, White Rock. We are right on the border over here. I think I'm dragging bottom, so I'm going too fast. Walter's going away from me, so I may not be able to keep up with him. Since I'm trolling. Well, he's trolling pretty fast. So now I've increased my speed. I tried trolling holding it, but that did not work, or without holding it, but didn't seem to work as good. There's Walter. Some bait balls jumping right here. You think that's bait or mud bubbles? Uh, these are uh, anchovies. Anchovies? Oh, I can see them now. Yeah, I got a speaky rig on. I'm going to try to get some live bait. Oh, heck yeah. Anchovies everywhere. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like raindrops. There's Walter. So what's up, Walter? What's up? <laughs> you still got the Brad's 29 on there? That's what I got on. Oh, and of course, I wrapped up my... Or I've never, or a paddle, I haven't done that before. First time for everything. Any bites? I haven't, yeah, I haven't either. Really? Well, that's good. They're jumping like crazy, man. I've never approached the Semiamu from this side. I've always just fished the drift over there in front of uh, the mouth of California Creek, you know, that little creek bed. Well, I think I'm gonna follow that bait ball. That's the only one I've seen. Aside, uh, I mean, those are the only fish I've seen aside from the coho jumping. Lots of bait. That bait ball's already way over 
here and they're jumping, so that means something's chasing them. Well, I'm chasing them. <laughs> but they're not jumping from me, chasing them. So Walter and I met up here, so I hadn't seen him until he paddled over a little while ago. I'm almost tempted to draw on a dick knight, just a little silver dick knight. They're eating the anchovies. I think that might be the move. I think that might be the move. God for harmless, because that would have just hooked my lanyard. Okay, we got six minutes in on this 10 minutes of fishing, so I am hurrying up here to change gear. Should If I should even bother, I'm gonna try it without a weight. Save time. Otherwise, I have to make a leader. This is not a dick knife, it's just a silver spoon. I think it's a, a silver Canadian wonder. I can't see what it says on there. Marin. I don't know who made that. I got this at a garage sale. It's in a box. It was like a thousand dollar box I got for 40 bucks. It had like, I don't know, a dozen Dodgers in there. Those big flashers, you know, the coho size. It had a bunch of Canadian wonders you can't even buy anymore. It had a bunch of mooching rigs, barbless, and with, uh, barb so you can fish both the salt and the river with a mooching rig. Well they used to let you use two hooks on the nooksack but you can use them still other places I'm sure. Um, wow that bait ball really moved off so I really have to chase it now but I feel like that's still a good plan even though I let them get so far away. So I'm trolling this wait list because I tried trolling stuff with a half ounce and it was too heavy. It would rub the bottom and it's only eight feet deep. So I'm trolling pretty quick here. All right, but I'm still letting the line out. I haven't even. There's a boat over there. I don't know if they live over there and they're just going over there or if they're just moving closer to the shoreline so they can fish for some cohos too you know you just don't know that must have been a splash from a coho so when I'm trolling to catch up to the I'm not trolling really I'm just skimming it on the top there's no weight on it but I want to get on the other side of this bait ball and then come around and kind of corral them towards the coho. So I feel like I, don't... I can see them because they make little raindrop looking things on the top of the water, you know? He put on a sabiki rig and then with the bait balls over here, buddy. I can see it. They stopped rising. So 
so that is a good sign though that the anchovies are here and it stands to reason so earlier today we had a guy come into the fishing shop and said he's been throwing just plain old silver dick knights out here and he caught three fish this week the fish really just got here the last few days to Drayton Harbor I've been trying it out um, from time to time because the river's been weird with the silt And I am not seeing any sign of those anchovies now. So maybe I went past them. I don't know. Those are my bubbles over there. They stopped rising. I still think they're over there, but fuck, if they're still 500 feet in front of me after I just chased them, I'm just pushing them. I just happen to get lucky and be right on top of them. So I'm gonna go back towards the shore. And actually, I'm gonna cut this little dick knight off because those anchovies aren't here. That was the play. Now I need a new play. It's a, it's a nice one. I wanna yeah. see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God. Yeah, baby! Oh.